Honorable Fofi Chinda Simon, you have been at the House of Assembly. You have worked on the current electoral code in Cameroon, which is uh, seemingly still having a lot of loopholes. Now, first of all, can you present those challenges today's electoral code is facing? Uh, first, the problem is really not the electoral code. The problem is the electoral process. And we must begin by noting that there is no political will to have a clean electoral process in Cameroon. What you are calling the electoral code has had to come to parliament in different forms over three times. And I'm telling you for it to be perfected, it must come a fourth time. There is no political will. Let me, let me show you what I mean by no political will. If I take a simple item like the single ballot paper, which a country like Mali, coming out of war, can use the single ballot paper in its presidential elections. Cameroon has refused to use the single ballot paper. You may ask, what are the consequences? The consequences are that the political parties that have the money to buy will buy the voting cards and the voting papers of the other weaker parties. And so the political process is not correct. There is no political will from, this, from the government of Mr. Bia to establish a level playing field. Therefore, we see the weaknesses in the electoral code. Those weaknesses I have mentioned first, the, the lack of a single ballot paper. We see the lack of the capacity to measure, to, to ascertain that it's a, in, the, in the polling booth who the voter in front of you is. You cannot be sure that the person in front of you is the person with the card in the hand. Whereas a small me mechanism could have verified that. There are many ways you go through. You still see the administration very predominant in the process. Or, and you see the, the whole process of the administration taking over, getting back into it. There are so many signs of the weaknesses of the electoral process. Now we are facing on the field, we are facing on the field the phenomenon of buying of voters. That is a weakness from the electoral code. We are facing on the field the phenomenon of transferring voters from one polling station to another, where you think that from one polling uh, district to another to gain political advantage with the help of ELECAM. These are weaknesses of the electoral process, all because the political powers in place do not want a level playing ground. And all of this, let me say this clearly, that almost all the wars in developing countries have been triggered from the voting from the voting process or from the lack of voting process. Cameroon, the, the political powers of Cameroon are exposing Cameroon to the, to the risk of violence that will come from not having a level playing ground as far as the electoral process is concerned. That is a very serious concern. If the electoral code were correct, if it were proper, it would be the, one of the major tools that we could use. That would be the first. But the people, the people who run it, ELECAM, all of them, practically 80, 90 percent, are from the ruling CPDM party. So not only do you have the code, but you must, the people who do it must be seen to be independent, which is not the case. And we have seen enough cases through the Supreme Court where I can even give you the case of an Eleka man who took the papers from CPDM beyond at midnight in his house and, uh, you know, which against the rules. We've seen cases of CPDM people working for Eleka who disappeared after taking the Eleka, uh, CPDM papers and they had to go to the courts just to show you that the Eleka people are not as neutral as we would like them to be. So there's a problem of the electoral code. There's also the problem of the people that Eleka has selected to run it. We are facing a situation which is extremely delicate with the electoral process. And it is time that that code goes back to parliament for, for a, second, a second reading. Remember that when it came down the first time, we refused to vote for it. The SDF refused to vote for it, and we still stand by our belief that it is not the best code for Cameroon.